Hi guys, so today I'm going to teach you how to you add a new 3D printer profile in the process slicer. So why I want to doing this is because when I do uh, when I add a new 3D printer profile from here, uh, the filament as you can see there's a lot of kind of filament here. This uh, default setting from the Pulsar Slicer, but after you add a new new tree printer profile here, this uh this profile this filament profile will not show over over here. Even the the custom uh my own custom profile filament over here it also does not display over here. Uh and then beside the filament profile also the print setting profile as you can see this is all the this one this default and this one is my custom uh, custom setting from the print setting profile so let me show you my issue here first okay so okay now i want to add a new uh, new 3d printer profile okay yes as you, you can click from add remove printer and select add remove present and it will ask you to add a new 3D printer you have beside now uh, beside Pusa Pusa printer or you can click the uh, here and then select add uh, add or remove present you also come up this okay now I I have a BQB1 so of course this is all the Prusa 3D printer and you if you have a like I like now I have a VQB one so I have to select a custom printer. Let's say this one is VQB one. Can you see that? Just a little bit. BQB one, and then you click next. So this is the firmware. BQB one firmware is a Marlin. Yeah, Marlin, and then click next, and then the profile size. Okay, let me the profile size two three five. Five. and then for the z for the z height it will i will add later because here does not show the z height and we can be one bad size the shape is a uh, rectangular of course not circular circular is for delta pre printer and my nozzle is 0 0.4 filament yes 1.75 uh, my minimum filament temperature uh, I'm gonna set to 200 back to 60 next uh, this is the filament profile so you can see all I have been select select all okay remember this I, I already select all next this one is a uh, SLA uh, next this one is uh, yeah, SLA no, does not use in the UQB uh, one automatic updates check for application update update built in present auto marketing uh, this one could just next we look from this I don't have this file for the 3MF file or others file I don't have for associations uh, both also don't have view mode okay I always use expert mode so I will choose expert mode by default and you click finish after you click finish and you can see it does not show the Pulsar Mark 3 as the, the back the back look the back profile here 
it back to like a default simple simple line okay then you can see here is a b1 bqb1 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 see presetting only has bqb1 filament see you only have two printer printer you have show it all that's the problem here so uh, i'm gonna remove this so if you already have this issue just like now what i do now uh, don't worry just remove just remove this you click edit reason you click go to printer setting here select the uh, profile you want to delete it should be one and then you select delete yes and you automatically select either one of the profile so I will choose this one and then this one see after you move the filament will show up and this one I'm gonna remove also this one just great remove and then you see after I remove the filament showed up I don't know why and I still no idea what how this happened see here okay delete yes and now it's already delete so you can see here now it's a Prusama 3 bed size bed loads. Okay, now I want to add BQ, BQ, uh, BQB1. So, so now I want to add a BQB1 bed size here. You just need to printer settings. Uh, make sure you are make sure you are in. Make sure you are in expert mode. Go to printer setting, and then you select uh one of the profile. Let's say I'm using uh mark. I have a Prusa Mark Three S. Okay, you select one, and then you go to the. Now I want to find the bed size. Oh yeah, here's the bed size, and then you click set. My bed size is two three five, two three five. And then click. Okay. This is a uh, height. BQB one height is a uh, two seven zero. Okay then. When you do the changes, the words here will turn to orange. And if you have a custom start G code and the end G code, you can you can edit from here. Okay, now when you edit, it will turn to modify, but it, it will not replace from this profile because you can see there's a lock here. This, uh, wherever the profile has a lock here, is a default default profile you can't delete it it just it just there so uh, when you show modify means you have to do a changes from here but after you save it will not replace it just uh, temporary save but when you're using when you next time using it you will keep the changes there but it, it will not re it will not repress the whole profile from here so now I want to add another profile, add another new profile, not replace. So I just do the changes. I just change my bed shapes, maximum Z height. And then I click save here. And save present. So here I'm going to name by BQ, BQ, B1. Click OK. And then now it will save into BQB1. 
open up here you go you got the big heavy on here so now let's go back here and then you can see the free armament profile is it shows up here also the print setting so go to pattern and just now you can see there's a uh, only when I do a BKB1 profile, right? The new 3D printer profile, it will not show here. It will only show once, right? Now you can see, you can select all the filament, filament profile. And then the print setting, see? Everything is here. So, uh, that's it for today. That's all I want to show you how to use a simple step to add a new 3D printer profile. And uh, I already do this uh, BQB1 profile and then I already generate the Benchy and then and also I have to do a test print on my BQB1 so far no issue I have a, I have a printing about one month now so far no issue with this setting so uh, I recommend you guys if you have an issue from here I recommend you guys can do this way so hope this can help you guys and that's all for today and i see you next video